All right, in less than three minutes, you'll hopefully recall the branches of the external carotid artery using the following mnemonic. Super tired alpaca licks face of ocelot posting around missing sea turtle. Didn't catch that? Don't worry, we'll walk you through it. But first, let extra carrots available remind you again that we'll be symbolizing the branches of the external carotid artery. First is the superior thyroid artery, which can be remembered by this super-tired alpaca wearing a superhero cape and thyroid bow tie. Next is the ascending pharyngeal artery. This is represented here by the alpaca's long ascending neck. The lingual artery is next. It supplies the tongue, so the symbol should come as no surprise. Lick for lingual. Then we've got the facial artery, shown here by this ocelot's face. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Speaking of ocelot, that's our symbol for the next branch, the occipital artery. Moving on, ox is posting around posters to remind you of the posterior auricular artery. The missing photo of Max represents the maxillary artery, one of two terminal branches. And finally, the remaining terminal branch is the superficial temporal artery. Our symbol for that? Sea turtle. So, let's put the story together and make sure you never forget. Not so long ago, there lived two best friends, Ox the Ocelot and Max the Sea Turtle. One day, Max went to the bodega to buy extra carrots, but didn't return home. So, Ox decides to post around photos of the missing sea turtle. While this is going on, another caring friend, the super-tired alpaca, appears, licking poor Ox's face to cheer him up. And there you have it. The mnemonic is, once again, super-tired alpaca licks face of ocelot posting around missing sea turtle. Stay tuned to see the future whereabouts of Max.